Should you go for a master's or should you go for a PhD in mathematics? That is the question. So in this video, I'm going to give you my personal opinion on this. And again, this is not something that uh, maybe a lot of people talk about, but this is true. So if you go to any graduate school website, just pick a really good school and go to the website and look at their graduate program. And if you read about the funding requirements, they will tell you that funding is reserved for PhD students. In other words, if you apply to a graduate program and you apply for a master's, it is extremely hard to get funding. Sometimes you can't even get it. Okay, I mean, where I went to grad school, I don't even think they gave funding to master's students. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was PhD only. And that is usually the case. So most of the time, all funding is prioritized and reserved for PhD students. This means that you should go for a PhD. Okay, so apply to PhD programs. You might say, well, I only want a master's. It doesn't matter. Go for the PhD. The worst case scenario is that you don't finish and you get a master's. That's not a bad worst case scenario to live with. And you still have all the experience of, of going into the PhD program, right? You're, you're, you're going in there, you're gonna be, you know, a doctor, you know, whatever your last name is. It's a big deal, it's, it's, a, it's a lifetime experience, and it's still worth it. So if you're wondering about whether to go for a master's or a PhD, and, and if you need funding, then go for the PhD. Now if you're working, if you're working and you want to go part-time, that's a different story. That, that's a much bigger challenge. For one, you're working. So you have to work and go to school. Oh my God, that's not easy, right? That is extremely difficult. If you say, oh, I do that. Well, if you do that, then I salute you. I mean, that is a big deal. Uh, I always had a hard time with that, especially with mathematics. Mathematics is so difficult. I was never able to really work and, and go to school at the same time. It was just too difficult for me. I did it as a grad student, but I was working at the school, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different. So if you're going part time, then sure. I mean, masters is your only option, right? The funding for the PhD program usually comes contingent with the fact that you'll actually teach a class for them. So it's a full time job to go for a PhD in math. It's not something you do part time. No, it's not, it doesn't work that way. A masters you can do part time, maybe one class a semester or something at night or online, but. Uh, PhD, it's a full-time job. So if you want to commit yourself fully, if you're ready to commit yourself fully to your studies and you're trying to decide between a master's and a PhD, always go for the PhD because that's where the money is and that will pay your funding. And then worst case scenario, you know, you don't finish. But that's the way to do it. Good luck.